What's going on guys? So I get asked a ton, way more than I would expect to be asked, how do you load a motorcycle into a trailer? And I'm asked this by people that I would expect to know how to get a motorcycle into a trailer for transportation, whether you're taking it to the shop or if you're going to pick up a motorcycle for the first time. So I figured why not just make a video, show you guys how I personally load my bike onto a trailer or this bike onto a trailer. And then that way everybody will know how to load a motorcycle into a trailer. So that is what I'm gonna show you today. All right, guys, so as far as the type of trailer we're using, we're just using a very basic trailer. I think I got this one at Lowe's. It's got two wheels, one little axis across it, and the trailer has four little tie-down areas on the outside corners of all the four sides of it, and that is what we're gonna use, or at least the front two, to tie a bike down. First step, obviously, is you need to lower the rear of the trailer. This trailer is really easy to lower. All you have to do is pull out these little pins and then twist, and the door will stay open. Once you get those pins out, the door of the trailer will easily just fall down, so I'm just gonna lay it on the ground here. And now the next step is pretty simple. We're literally going to drive the bike onto the trailer. Make sure that you keep the bike towards the middle of the trailer if you're only trailering one bike. If you're trailering two bikes, you're gonna put them side by side and you're gonna make sure that the weight is evenly distributed through the trailer. Okay, so now that we've got the bike in the front middle of the trailer, what we're gonna do is put the kickstand down and leave the bike there and we're gonna go grab a couple things. You're gonna need two pull straps, like hand tightening straps. I prefer hand tightening as opposed to ratchet because if you do ratchet and you ratchet it down too much, you can actually mess your fork seals up on your motorcycle. And you're also gonna need canyon dancers. So what canyon dancers are is this little strap with cups on the end that allow you to have a tie down spot for your straps that you're gonna attach the bike to the trailer with. If you didn't have canyon dancers, you can put the straps around maybe your handlebars or other spots on your bike depending on the type of bike you have but this can sometimes cause wear and tear on your bike that you probably don't want to be there. All right, so back to the trailer. Now that we've got the bike in the trailer, we're gonna put the Canyon Dancers around the handlebars like this. And you can see this loop is gonna give us a tie down spot for the straps. Tighten them up by pulling the loop ends and now we're gonna go handle all the straps. I'm gonna start off by strapping down the left side of the bike. The reason I choose the left side first is because the kickstand of the bike is already down. I'm gonna choose the end closest to the little spring mechanism to loop around the trailer. All right, so we're gonna put this hook end on the trailer in the top left corner. Then we're gonna loosen the strap all the way and we're gonna put the other hook inside of the tie down spot on the left of the Canyon Dancer. Very lightly, we're just gonna make it so that the strap is taut. We're not gonna try to make it super tight right now because we still have to lean the bike up. Okay, and now before getting on the motorcycle, we're gonna go to the other end and just like we did on the left side, we're gonna add the hook end that's closest to the spring mechanism to the front corner of the trailer. And now once again, we're gonna tighten the strap just enough to where we have enough slack with the pull handle that we can reach it from the seat of the motorcycle. All right, now sit on top of the bike and we're going to bring it upright until it's straight up and down. Now reach to the front of the left and the front right of the motorcycle and grab the tightening strap that you can pull and tighten the straps with. Now, using your body weight and holding both tightening straps at the same time in each hand, we're going to pull them at the same time so that the bike gets equally tightened on both sides. All right, now that the bike is strapped down and tightened, we only have one more thing to do before this is done, and that's tying the straps so that they don't come loose in case of a bump or something in the road. This is a, one of those situations that is keep it simple stupid. Now all we're gonna do is take that tightening wrap, we're gonna wrap it around, and make a very basic knot. And now before you tighten the knot, you're gonna bring that strap all the way down to that metal guard, and you're gonna make sure that it's tightened underneath it. So what this knot's doing is not only is it tightening the handle so it can't come unloose if a bump comes in the road, but by taking that flat end and getting it wedged underneath that metal spring, it's gonna make sure that that knot cannot go anywhere. And after that, you're pretty much done. I would recommend tying the handle part down at the very top of it to another part of the strap. That way it's not whipping in the wind and can potentially damage your motorcycle. And other than that, we're gonna pull the back door up on the trailer, lock it down, and we're ready to go. 
And guys, that is all it really takes to load a motorcycle into a small trailer using a Canyon Dancer and two pull straps. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this random type of motorcycle content. I'm Chase, I appreciate you guys spending some time with me, and I'll see you on the next one. Later. That's all for the video. That's all for the video, yeah, yeah. That's all for the video, uh-huh. Bye.